So in this lesson, we're gonna cover something that's a little bit hard to grasp at first, and that's working with abstracts. Now, this is one of the most beautiful concepts that we can really kind of dive into if you take the time to really try and think outside the box, right? That's the whole point of this. So what do I mean by that? Now, when we walk down the street, especially here in New York City, it's all too easy to get caught up in the literal. We see big buildings, so we want to photograph a building. I see a taxi right next to me. I see a chair. I see a biker go by. We're so used to seeing things exactly as they are or how they're supposed to be. So what if we took all of this and threw it out? Everything we think we know, the sky is supposed to be up, the floor is supposed to be down. Throw it all out and start from nothing. Now no tool makes this easier than the iPhone, right? All you have to do is pick it up, point it at your subject, and now we start to tilt and turn until we find a more interesting composition. Now, New York is maybe one of the only places in the world where you can just walk around the streets like this and no one even pays attention to you. So try it, but if we do it with our phone, now we start getting some interesting results. So first I'm gonna take a shot that would be a typical shot, something that we'd be more inclined to do when we first go to take a photograph. All right, not a bad shot, right? But what happens if we rotate and rotate and rotate? And what I'm doing is I'm not randomly rotating. What I'm trying to do is match the edge of my frame to the lines of the building. In other words, I'm taking those horizontal lines, all those floors on a building, and I'm rotating them 90 degrees. I'm making those vertical lines now and vice versa. And look what happens when I do. I'm gonna line this up right in the corner here. Now take a look at that shot, completely different than what anyone else would get if they were standing in this very exact place. So that's it. When you talk about abstracts, here's the thing. What I recommend doing before anything else it's just trying to get in the habit of seeing everything as if it was the first time you've ever seen it. There's a Japanese concept called Shoshin, which teaches that very methodology. You literally see everything new as if it's the first time. And if you do that, it could be your kitchen table. It could be breakfast in the morning. It could be that biker. It could be a cab. It could be a jacket. It could be these beautiful buildings in New York City. You take that mentality, you take that approach to all of your life and you're gonna walk away with way more interesting photos than you could ever believe. This video was a free preview of the Urban iPhone Photography online course. In this course, you'll discover everything you need to know to take stunning iPhone photos in a city environment. Whether you find yourself commuting to work or visiting a famous metropolis, you're gonna know exactly what to do to capture the unique character of that city. I'll show you how to photograph stunning skylines, unique architecture, busy streets, and of course, the people who make up the soul of the city. If you'd like to learn more about taking pictures in a city environment, please take a look at the full version of my Urban iPhone Photography course. You'll find that link in the description right next to this video. So click on that link right now, and I'll see you inside the full version of the course.